What is going on everyone? All October balance patch changes from Korea explained in less than 20 seconds for each class. This takes a bit of time to do for me, but you all seem to like the last one. So here we go. These are PVE only changes that I'm going to be mentioning. And also, you should follow my Twitch. But anyways, let's go. Berserker. Buff to floor, nerf to ceiling. QOL changes on both synergy skills, crit rate removed from those skills, and put on the engraving at 30%, meaning a 3.2% crit nerf. Both Z skills allow for a spacebar cancel during casts, and also arc passive for the rush skill change so you don't have to stack it anymore. Gunlancer. Buff for Lone Knight. Nerf for Combat Readiness. Lone Knight buffed by 3% and Combat Readiness nerfed by 3% in Arc Passive. Destroyer. Buff to Rage Hammer. So there's a higher gauge building in normal mode using your Liberation skills. There's up to a 15% damage buff when using Gravity Release mode. That's the Arc Passive. And then the Gravity Release ends when the liberation skills are finished being used, so there is a lower time in gravity release mode. But you can get to gravity release mode very quickly. So on and off, on and off. Slayer. Both specs buffed. 3% arc passive damage increases for both Punisher and Predator. Punisher gives party synergy when entering burst mode close enough to the boss. Punisher Z skill has a 20% attack speed increase and also can be canceled with spacebar. Predator Slayer can now cancel their burst mode with X skill. Scrapper. Nerf to shock. The King 2 arc passive damage nerfed by 2%. Solfist. EO mixed, robust, buffed. 6.5%. Oh, right here. Where is it? Okay. 6.5% nerf in damage for EO arc passive. However, they can reduce hype cooldown by using normal skills and hype. Robust awakening QOL buff with an attack power applied on awakening cast. Glavier. Pinnacle buffed. QOL changes from multi hit to single hit on deadly red dragon. Arc passive can be used without changing stances. Striker. Death blow buffed. Damage reduction from arc passive is now only 10%. So that's great. Get breaker. Dead eye. Huge changes to enhanced weapon. TLDR, QOL, and mini rework changes. A bunch of skills got faster animations. Also, it seems like there's a range where you can double your damage. Right? Also, there are new arc passives for the enhanced weapon. Okay, Artillerist. Buffed for Firepower by 21% from Arc Passive. 1% from this and nearly 25% from this. Scouter. Revamp to the Arc Passive Leap for both specs. An Enlightenment Arc Passive nerf to Evo. 5% damage nerf to the Evo Arc Passive. And there is a new Enlightenment Arc Passive for Arthentinian. Gunslinger. Buff for Time to Hunt mainly, but also Peacemaker. There's an attack speed buff on two skills. This one and this one. And there's a 20% damage increase in the Time to Hunt Arc Passive. Arcana. Nerf to Empress. Arc Passive damage nerfed by 3%. Summoner, buff to both Master Summoner and Communication Overflow. Master Summoner T skill, QOL changes like faster animations. Communication Overflow T skill damage increased by 25%. Their Hyper Awakening increased by 9%. Master Summoner got a Arc Passive buff by 6%. And Communication Overflow Leap, Leap Arc Passive got a damage nerf but now stacks two times. Bard, what the F is this? Sork. Reflux. Mixed. 
Reflux Arc passive 1.4% damage nerf, but their gauge consumption is decreased when using Blink. Blade. Surge buffed. 3% damage buff to Surge Arc passive. Shadow Hunter. Perfect suppression buffed. QOL on Storm Grinding Arc passive. It went from 13 hits to 9 hits, and it was a damage increase as well. Reaper. Buff to Lunar, nerf to Hunger. Increased from 30 to 60 seconds for the Lunar Arc passive that gives back attack buff and damage increase. Hunger Arc passive, Chaos Mode reduced to 2 seconds. Hunger Leap Arc passive reduced crit rate by 5%, but the cooldown was increased by 3%. Soul Eater. Buff to Knight's Edge and Full Moon. Nice Edge Arc Passive no longer requires 9 stacks for Soul Decapitation. You can use this skill to get out of Soul Snatch mode. Full Moon. T-Skill. Gets 10% extra damage and 24% extra crit damage. And finally, Aromancer Buff to Drizzle. They get a 3% damage on the Drizzle Arc Passive. Always got to slap on a 3% buff for Aromancer. But yeah, anyways, those were the changes for the October patch in Korea. Overall, I would say that it's a pretty good patch, right? Most people got great changes. For example, Dead Eyes are winning here. Uh, but to be honest, Striker seems very good now. This is a 4.5% damage buff for them. So I'm really excited for Striker. Uh, other than that, I feel like some things were underwhelming, kind of like Bard, for example, right? Bard was just a weird QL change that didn't even need to exist. They could have put it in the footnotes, right? This one, Vivace, floats in the air, plays the harp, while moving, collision with our, our like, do, we, do we really need to put that in? But yeah, anyways, that was it. Uh, other than that, let's see, let's see here. Slayer, just to recap, Slayer was pretty good changes, right? They got full buffs on those. So I know a lot of Slayers were complaining about their characters being weak. So hopefully with the attack speed changes, which is really nice to the Z, and then also not having to use your synergy skill on cooldown is nice. And then especially for Predator, you don't have to uh, get exhausted or you can preemptively cancel it so you can be in exhaust while uh, you know a cutscene is happening or something like that. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, overall it says, we, we could read this developer comments here. Uh, in the balance patch, we adjusted the values to alleviate. So now they are going to be doing uh, additional balance patches to accommodate current situations where we ease the pre-work of certain classes. So this is just a pre-work, everybody. There's going to be more work to be done. And the usability of the arc passive. And we also improved the usability and presentation of some skills. Okay, they also did PvP. But yeah, based on what they said here, it seems like they did their job. Overall, I don't think anything got too crazy nerfed, right? Most people got buffed. And some things like, you know, Demonic Shadow Hunter get to live for another day, right? Um, this one was very surprising to me. The lunar changes and then actually the hunger nerf got kind of dunked on. But that's besides the point. All right, I think I'm yapping around a little bit. So if you guys reached it up to this point, Pineapple Gang, thank you all so much for watching. Let's just say Pumpkin because it's almost Halloween. That is our secret word, pumpkin. All right, everybody. Take care.